So this time I want to talk about the Atlas 7B Shaper and how they're notorious for the original switch burning out. A lot of times when you find one of these machines used, someone's replaced this switch with something more modern. And uh, I really like the appearance of the original switch. It's the way the machine was meant to be. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe somewhere I read that Atlas F actually offered a different type of switch and a, and a cover plate for this. But I really like the way this switch looks. And I, I know I'm missing a screw down here. It's, it's somewhere around here. Um, but I want to talk about why these switches burn out. So Atlas, when they made this whole machine, all these are made from castings. I don't think they really thought about what was going to happen to the oil from the ram ways. So when you run one of these machines, of course you have to oil the ways on it. It's critical. Um, this machine's been upgraded to have actually oilers on it so it can feed plenty of oil, especially if you're going to be doing a lot of cutting. Um, but even if you just have the cups, there's oil going in there. And where does that oil go? It doesn't burn off. It has to drip out. So a lot of times you'll see, like down on this, you can see it's wet down here. That's just from the oil seeping down through the machine and bleeding out the base of it onto the stand. Um, so if I open up the cover, it's going to be dark in here. You probably really can't see what I've done to the switch. No, you can't even see the switch. The switch is just behind that gear, okay? And what's going on is the way the casting is designed or shaped on the inside, it actually promotes and encourages the oil that's dripping from the right-hand way directly into the switch. So the switch fills up with oil, and then when you cut it on, it shorts out the switch and burns them up. In fact, uh, a while back I was looking at a YouTube video and a guy got one of these, and he brought it home, and he said, you know, the night I brought it home, I tried it for the first time, and the switch started smoking, even though it had been working fine when he was at the place that he bought it. Of course, the moment he brought it home, it burned up. So, and I don't know this for a fact, but if I had to take a guess, he got the machine, he brought it home, and he oiled the ways real good because it was going to be the first time he ran it. And I bet you oil went directly in the switch. And then the first time he turned it on, it started smoking. These switches are really common. They're very common. It's an AC110 switch. Uh, I don't remember the amps that this carries. You can pull your old one out and it's usually stamped on it. And you can replace it for, with one you could just get at your hardware store. They're probably like less than 10 bucks, maybe 12 bucks for this switch. Um, and so what did I do to fix the problem? I just made a shroud that bolts you know, the switch is coming through and you have this nut on the outside that pulls it up against the housing. So I made this hammered piece of aluminum, which is a shield that has a hole in it. So that the whole switch slides through it and it acts as a cover. And it's kind of like an umbrella for the switch. So any oil coming down here is then diverted away from the switch. And uh, this is the original switch to this machine. And I have had zero problems with it. It never smokes. It never gets wet with oil. It wasn't that the switch manufacturer that was supplying Atlas made a mistake. It was that Atlas made a casting that let oil drip directly into the switch. So you want to keep your original switch or you want to replace your original switch and make it last, make yourself a little oil shield on the inside of the cover. It's got to be pretty shallow because the, uh, the gear in there is pretty close to it. But you only need, I don't know, a little bit less than half an inch of a shield and that'll keep it from dripping into the switch. So there's a way to save the original switch on your Atlas or at least replace it so it continues to look original because, you know, these, <laughs> they are a beautiful machine and I wouldn't want to put anything modern on this. I like it just the way it is. So I hope that helps you figure out what's wrong with your switch and hopefully repair it.